Okay, I just remembered what it was. Just remember what I want to do here. Um, over on Jason Calavito's alien site, this is going to be real brief. Uh, there, uh, there's several, several uh, uh, fringe authors going on about the Nephilim giants and and uh, not so much Bigfoot anymore, but Nephilim giants. On about like like ancient ancient like societies that were supposedly all white in the middle of Native American lands, which doesn't make sense. And now Nephilim giants being all over the world before the flood and all that stuff. Also, over at the... And then, which is also over at the... And then one of them has an idea for it. Uh, had this crazy idea about a meteor strike in 2020, which is yet another doomsday or nostradamus BS made-up story. Uh, yeah, more, more bullshit. Um, yeah, uh... uh We've had the meteor thing since at least the 90s. Uh, the, in fact, that, that particular story comes from the Pyramid Over the Sun thing from 1998, anticipating the Y2K. And then that didn't happen. So they rewrote it in around 2011 or so, uh, 2010, 2011, as 2012. It's kind of the same thing. And then they threw the Mayans in there in 2012. Now it's 2020. Well, we're not too far off from 2020. It's only four years away. No, nothing's going to happen. They're getting all that wrong. They're getting the alignments all wrong. The equator thing all wrong. All that stuff's ecliptic. It's the same fallacy, actually. Uh, they were going over the Mayan thing, going like, Ooh, the Mayan thing! The sun is going to be in the galactic center, facing the galactic center in the winter, and then it's all going to be over... Uh, even though, as Neil deGrasse Tyson, the physicist, pointed out, and several other NASA people, every winter the sun lines up with the solar ecliptic. Every winter. It's... And this other, this other myth is a summer one. Summer. Every summer. So in June, every summer. Guess what happens every summer? Same thing. <laughs> other way. <laughs> Something like that. So yeah, that doesn't mean anything either. And, and the gravity of the center of the galaxy pointing at the sun has no impact whatsoever on anything in the solar system. The sun is orbiting around the galaxy every millions and millions of years. And it has no impact whatsoever. And it has no impact with the near-Earth asteroids whatsoever. In fact, every, every autumn and every spring, there are small asteroid meteor showers called the Nereids. And every year. Because the solar the Earth passes through this area where that happens, little comet tracks and stuff. Yeah, nothing. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Um. So uh, yeah, that's enough of that. And then and another goofy thing. I'm just adding some goofy things here real quick. I, I was uh, happening by one of the channels that we subscribe to, called Pionic Dance, and she is a, a renowned atheist, agnostic atheist. Uh, well, probably not even agnostic, just an atheist, uh, on the internet, um, makes up a character that does a bunch of stuff, and, uh, yes, she was, uh, going over the, the atheist questions and whatever. Oh, yeah, Nephilim giants, by the way. Nothing true to that. Uh, those were just tall people. Yeah. But onto this atheist thing, which is kind of all connected somehow, because there seems to be, among the agnostic atheists, a strange, a strange belief in the Bible, uh, which is odd. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, um, so, so some of them, some of the, ag the atheists, and I did a whole program on it with the Tom Brookston character that I made up just to do that. I've already been over that. Uh, nobody's. Wa I think it's still up on my channel. If you want to watch it on Weird Kitty 07. I think that's where it is, or it might be on the other one, on Location Cats channel. It's many years ago, season four, I think. Um, and um, but the the gist of the argument, the atheist argument, and the gist of the other argument seems to go together. Uh, I just want to clarify that there sometimes not just this one channel, other ones do it, uh, confusing the uh, the science with faith notion and whatnot the basic tenant tenement thingy 
that the hyper-evangelicals, which I know some of hyper-evangelicals, they cannot quantify faith. You cannot quantify faith. You can't make belief and faith a thing uh, and quantify it and say, like, I'm going to measure this. I'm going to prove it's true or not true. It's what they believe. What you believe. I, yeah, you can't. <laughs> it's, uh, both sides can agree to that. Uh, um, the, I don't ascribe to the notion that the Earth is only 6,000 years old. That's ridiculous. Science has proved the Earth and the solar system and all that, space and all that, are over 13 billion years old. Uh, it has to be that old. Because you, the light from other stars is coming from the telescopes to us over billions of light years. It's got to be that old for us to even see it. So there you go. So the hyper-evangelicals would have a fit if I said that to them. <laughs> they would be like, no, creationism is right. The dinosaurs and man were walking together. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. That dinosaurs and man thing was proven to be fake. The guy with the, the, the prince, that was fake. The shot of turn is fake. It's totally fake. I had somebody like go like, oh, how dare you see the shot of turn is fake? All the cloths. Ah. Like, no, no, the shot of turn is fake. Because it was put there in the 13th century. And, oh! I was like, yeah, it was. It was fake. It was, even in the Bible it says cloths, not cloth. Yeah. And, and it wouldn't look like that. It wouldn't have been one piece of cloth. They wouldn't have had, been able to sew that back then into a blanket. So, it wasn't a blanket. Uh, but yeah, um, so yeah, so, so some of that's in agreement. Uh, the universe being old, uh, that, uh, they were stating some of that, some of the bionic dance and some of the other ones were going into, well, the universe is old. It's like, you know, I just said it was billions of years old. And, and some of the atheists say, well, creationism just happened. It's by chance. It's uh, completely random. And, and science and nature just, if it was even remotely off, that by chance goes randomly and sort of, again, that's a mathematical thing because we can't really, we can only see, so it's not a constant. It's a math. Math, from what I've told by physicist people, I'm not a math guy, but I've told by physicist people that the mathematical things they dream up are not, are theories, not proven. They're theories. So math, like faith, cannot be quantified exactly. Uh, once a new theory comes up, then that math has changed slightly. The, the number system is the same. It's always going to be the same. But the way it's done is going to change. And, and, and Neil deGrasse Tyson, on one of his sites, with, arguing with, Neil, with Bill Nye's, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he said, uh, um, you know, uh, the <laughs> what was he saying? He was talking about the... Uh, the math thing. He's talking about space and time and stuff and saying that like like yeah, the the order and chaos and that kind of thing is and to a certain what am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying here. The uh, uh the uh although Mike Neil deGrasse Tyson does not believe that a creator needs to have been there to have created the universe. Um the 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 other group would say yes, there has to be a creator there to have created the universe. Um, but then they say that that if humans want to live out in space and stuff, humans don't adapt. Life does not adapt to other things. It mutates. It doesn't adapt, which is interesting. But why does it mutate? Is that is that chance? So there's another food for thought. Does it, is it really a mutation, or is something doing that mutation? We don't know because we can't quantify that. So there's your answer, Bionic Dance. We cannot quantify that. We don't know. Well, it, it, you can admit you don't know, right? <laughs> but yes, um, yes, and, and many of the scriptures have been written over time and all that. So yeah, so, yeah we don't know. Um, yeah. So, there you go. <laughs> but, uh, well, yeah, yeah, to say that everything is dependent on a 2,000-year-old uh, scripture is... For some of the creationists, a little uh, silly, a little dodgy, uh, especially, especially when some of that stuff is proven not to be the case anymore through theory and analysis. Uh, 
but some of it is. Some like finding the remains of of the Ur or finding the remains of Antioch or something or digging up like the old cities and going like, Oh I found this and that, that actually proves you know that Jericho was a place. It wasn't very big, but it was a place and they found it. Uh, they made it sound like it was really big, but it wasn't really. Uh, <laughs> it's a fortress, more or less. Uh, but it's interesting that Nineveh is still a place. That, that Nineveh, from the Bible, is it's a town in, in in Iraq. And that it's still there. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's interesting, all that stuff out there. And, and, and there's room for interpretation among, among people, millennials and other people like that out there. I'm not a millennial, X generation person. Um, <laughs> previous, uh, yeah. So, yeah, they, 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 yeah, and they'll discover some other theory later on. That's all. But yeah, so, so, yeah. Nobody the the they're, they're confusing the hyper evangelicals with their regular ones, and and even in even in the church that I go to. They said they're, they're, they they did a survey. They read the, the pastor read it in the church. It's a Presbyterian church, but it's it's semi progressive, but pretends it isn't. <laughs> and they're with Eco. Um, <laughs> that stands for Evangelical Community Office or something. It sounds weird, but but uh, but they uh, but yeah, they, they said that there's really no fundamental difference between like Presbyterian like denominational Christians and and uh non Christians or regular seculars in say California and most of America. So all this like highfalutin talking guys on the news going on about oh my god oh, the war on Christianity oh. there isn't a war on Christianity. They're making that up. Not in America, it's elsewhere. I don't know. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty stable, stabilized here in America. Elsewhere, not so much. There is a war on on faith going out elsewhere, like China and Russia and stuff like that. But, but not here. Not so much. Here, it's just a bunch of whiny people whining about their religion that they they want to believe that like the Earth is six thousand years old and they can hang out with dinosaurs. Uh, those guys are kind of nuts. So are the other guys on the other side. So everybody's but it's like no, no, no. This is uh, no. They're they're definitely, in my opinion, you know, or faith or whatever. There, there is a God. He controlled everything and made it look like it was chance. It's not chance, uh, <laughs> but he made it look like it. But that's an opinion and a faith. So there you go. Uh, so that's not. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to pretend to say that it isn't that uh, that there isn't a. Uh, some kind of something out there because it obviously is and of course as a science fiction person and writer and whatnot yeah there have to be aliens they're just not visiting us and probing our butts they're out there but they're not probing our butts i don't think so no and and the illuminati they keep going on about that and the, it was a secret organization and templars and all that i could go into that later but but that's all bullshit that's just the super rich and the fringe having a party um, the super rich are not the Illuminati any more than anyone else is. Um, <laughs> and there's no Antichrist president. Uh, that's silly. They've been saying that for years and years and years and decades. Uh, none of the presidents are Antichrist. That's stupid. Um, <laughs> none of them. Not even Obama. Not even Clinton before that. Not even Bush before that. You know, you can just name a bunch of them if you want. I know Bush was before Obama and then Clinton and then Bush before that and Reagan before that. Yeah, I know that. But, but yeah, it's like, there's no there's no ma massive conspiracy to destroy the, ch I don't know where that's coming from. It's other than people, like, whining about how they, yeah. <laughs> but the super rich are controlling things and it's not a conspiracy. It's actually there. So, yeah. It's not a conspiracy because it's right out in the open. The big banks that screwed everybody over during the Bush years, they got off. They didn't go to jail at all. They, they, just, they just let them, let them off. <laughs> just, oh, you can leave. Yeah, you're fine. They totally got away with it. Actually, Occupy Wall Street. 
happened after that. Uh, didn't help. But yeah, um, yeah, no alien conspiracy. Why would we need an alien conspiracy? We're messed up as it is. I suspect, as many others do, that, even Colito a little bit, that aliens know about us. They're out there watching. And we are a very curious, primitive society. We're very primitive and paranoid and self-destructive. And they're watching over us like some kind of space doctors. Like some out of a Twilight Zone episode or something. And they have a prime directive similar to in Star Trek. And they've decided that we are not worthy of contact yet. Though some of us probably are. And they've sent people down to visit humans. But not those weird fringe writers that are writing that kooky stuff. No, they've, they've just come down and contacted relatively normal people. And if aliens are going to come down, they're going to come down... And they're not going to be in secret. They're just going to come. Because, why not? And, and probably they're going to come through the internet. And probably what they're going to do is they're going to send us their spam. And their version of porn. Because what's all over the internet first? Spam and porn. So they're going to send us their porn. <laughs> and it's going to be weird because they may have tentacles. <laughs> So, and maybe they'll maybe they'll send out alien evangelists that'll try to convince us that their Bible is right, which will be interesting. <laughs> Completely throw a monkey wrench into the hallway. <laughs> well, yes, that'd be hilarious.